How powerful is the Spartan laser from Halo? Well, it's powerful enough to easily drop a Spartan in one hit, and even a Spartan behind that Spartan. And for reference, Spartan armor, the energy shield itself, can take about 6 to 9 rounds of 7.62 ammo from the assault rifle. And according to lore, and it's important to know that the video games aren't 100% lore, lore accurate, it's, it's weird. But according to lore, the just metal part of the Halo armor, the titanium alloy, well, Spartans don't even worry about anything penetrating that until they get to about the 50 caliber armor piercing rounds that the Warthog fires. So it can get through two suits of those, so pretty good. However, it's also quite efficient against vehicles. It can bring down a tank or even a wraith in one shot as long as it hits the right place. And that hitting the right place gives us kind of a jumping off point to guess at how powerful exactly it is. If we look at a modern tank, then we see that the weakest points of armor on there are 400 millimeters thick. That's still really thick. About 16 inches of solid steel. And if we just kind of guess that a scorpion tank from Halo has similar armor, then their weak points would be about similar as well. So this blazer could penetrate about the same amount of armor as some lighter RPG rounds. Now there are more powerful RPG rounds that can shoot through more and obviously more powerful rockets. So putting the Spartan laser at about that power level makes a lot of sense. However, we still have to consider that it's a laser that keeps that energy going until it's stopped by something. Instead of an RPG round that just dumps all its energy into pretty much what it first hits, with the blast continuing and penetrating the armor, but it doesn't have the same penetration as a laser would. Why even use the Spartan laser at all? It doesn't offer any more power. But the benefits come from not just its power. It's a laser, so it's pretty much instantaneously from the barrel to the target after it fires. In fact, it's almost a billion feet per second. And I'm not just exaggerating with that. So it hits the target a lot faster than a rocket launcher would. And you can move around where you're aiming, like this clip has been doing. You can hold down the button and only hold it down until it fires until you've got a target there. With a rocket, with a rocket launcher, as soon as you launch that rocket, it's just going. Somebody can just sidestep out of the way. But with the Spartan laser, if they've got that targeting laser on them, they can move around, but you can move around too. So it does have some logistical benefits, especially against, you know, big, heavily armored opponents. However, it is ridiculously expensive. One Spartan laser costs about as much as 134 assault rifles. So it's no wonder that it's rare and usually only given to Spartans.